Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. We're just a few days away from Thanksgiving, uh, and that brings back lots of little bits of memory from growing up. I grew up in the uh, Northeast U.S., in middle of nowhere, rural New York, so it wasn't uncommon for our Thanksgivings to have a little bit of snow, definitely a bit of frost in the mornings, uh, generally chilly and crisp and crunchy, just like your classic perfect fall uh, is usually depicted. And, and so we're not, uh, we're not talking completely a Norman Rockwell type Thanksgiving, though we were pretty close most of the time. It was always a time to get together with the family, have a good spread of food, your classic uh, golden brown turkey, uh, and, and all the fixins, and we always did have a good bunch of family around, uh, usually a bit of extended family, a and it was good. We ate well, we had good times, and uh, it was really something special. Not as big a deal as Christmas. We, I was raised Catholic, so uh, Christmas, kind of a big deal. Uh, Thanksgiving was a couple notches down on that, uh, on that scale, but uh, still... A, a, a time to get together with family. Now, some other people I know, uh, friends of people who've become really good friends of mine, uh, didn't have that sort of experience for one reason or another. Uh, maybe they were moving around too much. Maybe they didn't have the uh, finances for a big spread like that. They weren't near a whole lot of family. Or maybe something a little less uh, happy like problems within the family, uh, divorces, uh, abusive situations. And, and I know a lot of people who had uh, pretty bad families, uh, honestly speaking. And that always made me a little uh, sad to think about them, these people that I care about, not having that sort of joyous get-together. Now, the good news is, that over the years, uh, most, if not all of them, have had the experience of having a really good Thanksgiving. Not with family, but with friends. Friends who treat them better than their family, who they have more in common with than they ever had with their families, and uh, have created their own traditions with, their own sets of uh, favorite side dishes and favorite places to, uh, to go and things to do around Thanksgiving. And I think that is really one of the important things that we can all do uh, as we gain more and more control over our own lives is to choose the family that we really uh, want in our lives, be it blood or uh, friendship. And that's one of the things that I am exceptionally thankful for is that I've never had to choose one or the other. I've had it pretty good all around. I've been really lucky with the people that I've run into uh, and kept in my life over the years. Uh, so Thanksgiving, as I've transitioned away from being able to do it with my family since they're a long way away, and I'm working on Fridays, uh, most uh, Thanksgiving seasons, uh, I have friends that I can get together with and have a good hunk of turkey with and uh, spend a, a good evening with hanging out and enjoying each other's company. And I'm glad to look around and see that just about everyone I know has that too. If they're far away from their families, uh, they do have somewhere to go and people to be together with. And I think that's that's important. And that's the real core of what this part of the season is about. It's about that camaraderie. And I think we need to be sure that we reach out to those around us, uh, especially those that we think about and care about, and remind them that they do have somewhere to go. No matter what, they have somewhere to go. So no one should spend Thanksgiving alone unless they actually want to, which I can definitely understand. Uh, but it's up to us to make sure our friends and our family uh, are taken care of in, in this holiday. And I hope that 
everyone who sees this has a fantastic Thanksgiving. We'll be talking a little bit more about Thanksgiving tomorrow, uh, and then, you know, on Thanksgiving itself. But uh, what I want to know is I want to know what your favorite Thanksgiving tradition is, either from when you were growing up or uh, more recently. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, I want to hear your stories about your great Thanksgivings in the past. If you like the things that I'm talking about here, uh, give me a thumbs up down there. If uh, you're subscribed, thank you for being subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button so that you can get notified whenever these come out. And if you know anyone else out there uh, who would be interested in the sort of stuff I talk about, share this video with them. Uh, share any of the videos with them. Bring them to the table. We can sit down. We can uh, get them involved in the conversation. That's it for tonight. I'm Kier. Hope I see you tomorrow.